I thought that title would get your attention, or should I maybe rephrase it? When I get customer inquiries, should I say it as it is, honestly, or should I tell them what they want to hear? But I'll come on to some recent examples, but I've got a book here from the 1980s, I think, when I was just getting going in astronomy, and things like uh, the galaxies in, in Leo, like M65, M66, it says they will appear through a small telescope as small patches of light. Back then, the fact that you could see these things X amount of light years away was incredible. But boy, how things and expectations have changed. So I'll give three recent examples. <clears throat> Maybe uh, there's some subscribers. I think one of them did say that they watched my channel and I gave honest advice, advice not what they wanted to hear, and they vanished. And so uh, I had somebody uh, asking about a small telescope, similar to the one in front of me, and uh, they was saying, is it a good star to scope? Yeah, absolutely fine, just uh, uh, looking at, at, at the moon and from a dark sky location, maybe some star clusters, etc. All going well, and he found uh, another, but he was told by a mate, I, I must have a moon filter with this telescope, it is a first thing you've got to buy. And I said, well, because it's not a large aperture, the image isn't going to be incredibly bright, so I could happily take another £10 off you or so and put a moon filter in with it, not a problem, but uh, you, you don't really need one. But, oh no, my mate says you, you've got to have a moon filter. And so, yeah, if, if that's what you want, by all means. And uh, he mentioned taking photographs with a smartphone. And and I said, oh, with a telescope like this, uh, un unless you put it on a, a driven mount with a, a DSLR on, and you can take some images like uh, what you're seeing now, I said, with a smartphone, you, you're probably limited to just photographs of the moon. And it, he was audibly knocked back by that. Again, because I'm telling him as it is, maybe not what he wanted to hear. And also he mentioned uh, with this scope a, a four millimeter eyepiece and a three times Barlow. But those two together would give an image so faint and, and dim y you wouldn't be able to really make out anything. And again, he, because I was not telling him what he wanted here, I could have said, oh yes, you're going to see incredibly de uh, detailed views of Mars and and Saturn using like what 300 magnification or so but that that's not going to happen and uh, I was being honest yeah it's a good little star scope looking at the moon brighter stars maybe some star clusters etc just to get you started you'll see the moons around Jupiter and the rings around Saturn and it disappeared I've not heard from him since so uh, another one that recently uh, picked out some telescopes on my website and again started asking about the moon, Jupiter and Saturn, the planets and the moon uh, as most people do nowadays and I, and I said oh if you more into them you'll need uh, compared to not this one but other similar short tube refractors I, I said you'll need something with a longer focal length if, if that's your thing disappeared because I told him an honest opinion and not what he wanted to hear. And, and lastly, somebody wanted some binoculars for looking at the uh, a bit of a plane spotter. And I recommended some 10 times 50, 12 times 50. He'd see my YouTube videos per perfectly good. Uh, the the higher the price you want, the higher the price you spend. Not more magnification, but you'll get better clarity. That that's all you need. Any more magnification, you'll you'll find them uh, difficult to handhold. And so his reply to that was uh, another email. Uh, I've, I've seen some good 20 times 50s you can get. And I said, well, you struggle to hold them steady. You get a narrow field of view. You won't be able to see the bigger picture, the, the trail behind the plane. I, I would say they're more suited to longer distance, distance terrestrial use and maybe looking at ships at sea you know, with the binoculars on a tripod. Vanished. Again, because I gave an honest opinion and not uh, what he wanted to hear and so 
well, let me know uh, your stories in, in the comments of uh, uh, your expectations versus maybe a reality check by a dealer. Uh, how have you reacted to that? Have you said, yeah, I, yeah, thank you for, uh, excuse the pun, bringing me back down to earth and saying it as it is. And uh, so I didn't spend my money on something that wasn't going to be suitable. So that's uh, a quick, uh, my, my thoughts uh, on uh, the, the advice I give people. I, I like to say as it is, I don't gloss over, I don't tell them what they want to hear unless it's uh, you know the, the actual truth that does relate to the product that they're buying and their expect expectations. And so yeah, uh, something a slightly different today. Uh, yes, including that. And so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.